Thank you for your introduction. Um, so much energy. I'll, I'll try to match your energy, but uh, right. I don't think so. Just follow your I'll heart. I'll try my best. That's all I ask okay? for. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to, to Qatar. It's a real pleasure to have you all here. I hope uh, you enjoyed your flight here on the best airline in the world, Qatar Airways. Hope you had uh, some sleep last night at the one of the best hotels in Qatar, the Ritz Carlton. And we look forward to, uh, to show case in Qatar the next couple of days and showing you how Qatar is becoming, fast becoming a world-class hub with deep cultural roots. My name is Rashid Al-Qaraisi. I am the Chief Marketing Officer of Qatar Tourism Authority. Qatar Tourism Authority is the organization not only responsible for the planning and the regulation of the tourism industry in Qatar, but my team and myself are also responsible for marketing Qatar globally as a touristic destination. We are currently set up in nine international uh, cities with nine international offices. We cover 20 markets. Before end of this year, we'll be adding four additional markets, uh, including big touristic markets such as India and Russia. Since the start, start of this year, my team and I have been to Hong Kong, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, London, uh, Shanghai, Beijing, and Guangzhou. Um, and we're still in February, yeah? And before the start of uh, next summer, we'll be in Berlin, Kuwait, Mumbai, Moscow, Istanbul, and New York. Uh, this is not only true for people who work in the tourism industry, but this is actually becoming a reality of our globalized world. Uh, we, we don't believe uh, borders do much. Um, this message is important, especially uh, these days. And we also believe that travel and discovery is almost becoming a basic uh, universal, universal uh, right. So we're very delighted to host the third edition of the Inflow uh, Summit. And this is particularly important for us as we are promoting the message of welcoming the world. And because we're promoting this message and because we believe that travel uh, should be a basic right to, uh, to everyone, uh, we have recently taken a few uh, big policy changes we have recently granted citizens of more than 80 nationalities visa-free access to Qatar. And this is in addition to free transit visa for everyone transiting through Doha using our national carrier. With these two uh, big changes that we have undertaken in less than a year and a half, we are now accessible to about two thirds of the world population. And we are the most accessible and open country uh, in the region. Now, coming to you uh, guys, I myself, of course, not only travel for business, but I do take my family or go my friends on, on travel. Um, I do look at what tourist boards write on their websites and what they say in social media and what they write on their printed collaterals. But honestly, I don't really pay much attention uh, to that. I rely on people like you to tell me what to do and what to, what to experience. Um, Influencer marketing is becoming integral uh, to strategies of not only organization in the travel and tourism industry, but in so many other industries, um, be it fashion, uh, automotive, uh, technology, whatever uh, industry. And don't get me wrong, we, we still have a job, we still do what, uh, what, uh, what we do, uh, creating awareness, creating advertising campaigns, and talking and communicating with our tone and voice. But what I'm saying, it's becoming complementary. There is no marketing without integrating uh, influencers, uh, either now or in the future. And, and because of this, we have taken the conscious decision into integrating, and we've been doing this for the past uh, four years, and we're increasingly uh, doing it. And I think followership is also important when it comes to influencers. But I think also equally important, not only the reach, is the quality and the content and the segmentation of your audience. I mean, you might have you know, a big reach, but if your segmentation and, and, and your, your, uh, your persona is not clearly defined, then it will be very difficult for brands like us or anybody else, other, other brands to really kind of uh, connect and understand. 
as I said, it will be complementary. I mean, in the future, uh, media plans will look like, uh, you know, little bit of spots on CNN or Al Jazeera or BN, uh, but also will be integrating influencer X, uh, Y, uh, or Z. I hope you, uh, you enjoy today your uh, influencer, uh, business to influencer uh, sessions. And uh, tomorrow, my team and I will be hosting you in a full day uh, in Qatar with a, uh, with a dinner at the desert. I'm just preempting that uh, these days, uh, sometimes it rains, sometimes it's not. So if we cancel uh, the dinner tomorrow evening because of the rain, it, it is not for bad planning. Huh? Um, before I conclude, I'd like to uh, thank the organizers. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank our partners, Qatar Airways and the Red Scout in Doha, and uh, every uh, and BN Sports as well, uh, for their uh, for their hospitality, for their support in Flow Summit. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy your stay in Doha, and we will look forward to welcoming you again as um, tourists. Thank you very much. Shukran. <laughs>